So, uh, so when Dennis said like uh, to sh uh, just give a speech or talk like about uh, this evening, I was just thinking uh, what is that I can uh, share to connect well, right? Uh, which is more realistic and uh, that happened to me, right? So I thought like okay, uh, talking about my uh, life experience and uh, where I came from and uh, where I am now, I thought like in a nutshell, right? Uh, I thought like probably I'll say that. Uh, just to start with, right? To start with, uh, many of you don't know here, uh, but the thing is, I had a very messy life when I started. Okay, I lost my mom when I was 10. Uh, I was the last in my family. So I had like three siblings, and my dad, he had to uh, sacrifice a uh, lot of things, okay, to bring us all up. And uh, he did a great job. Okay? Uh, so again, like ten, at the age of 10, after uh, losing my mom, so uh, you know, like how the life goes after that, right? So. Um, uh, there has been ups and downs, uh, but as I grew up, uh, right, right now I don't uh, hesitate to tell about that because now I am not the person who I was at that point of time, right? So I just want to uh, tell that out. <coughs> so as I grew, grew, I've been growing up. Uh, what happened is uh, I slowly started to get uh, into the more uh, worldly uh, kind of. Uh, lifestyle where I like going for uh, uh, these uh, g gatherings and uh, I mean again drinking was uh, one of my favorite uh, time at that uh, at the time so I started gradually and it, it's not just drinking it's more like more uh, extreme level so uh, and then not only that uh, adding to that I was a very short-tempered person I'm not sure if people who are seeing me now see me that way but years back I was so short-tempered that it just takes somebody 10 seconds to get me angry. And when I get angry, I don't know what I really do. <laughs> right? I, sometimes I've gone into that time, like even I hurt myself. That's the level in which uh, I used to be very angry. I can't control myself. Okay? And that's how I grew up and that also led to fights, arguments and all those things. Uh, you know how back in India it is when you get angry. So, uh, that's me at that point of time. Uh, so that's how my lifestyle was going and uh, also because of all these things, right? There were many times like uh, I've been saved from accidents, okay? Today I'm, if I'm here, it's by God's grace, okay? Uh, that's kind of a lifestyle which I grew up and uh, eventually uh, at some point of time I started to think like where am I heading to, right? Where my life is uh, going with all these things, I mean how long it's going to go. Whether even I'll have a family, whether I'll settle down, will I have kids, and all those questions started to come uh, into my mind. At that point of time, only like my dad opened up the uh, idea of uh, getting me married because probably he thought he can't let this guy alone too long. <laughs> so uh, uh, that conversation started, and then uh, I should say that my marriage is a miracle. Okay, that's a turning point. So typically, what we do when we get married, right? You look for somebody who's a 100% match or a 90% match, at least 60%, right? You would not go with a 100% mismatch. <laughs> okay, I'm here, okay? I went with a 100% mismatch. Okay, I was extremely on the other side, and my wife, Becky, she was totally on the other side of the world. <laughs> okay, so uh, first time we met, we thought like, okay, it's not going to happen, we gave it up. Right, our, our, fam our family, not we, but our families met. And then two, three months later, again, uh, the families met again, and but some reason somehow it all happened. <laughs> okay, and uh, so that was I believe like uh, my marriage was a miracle, and uh, because I never expected this to happen in this way, but it happened. And three years into the marriage, I, I still continue. I came here to US, and everything still continued on and on, and uh, nothing changed. But in 2005, right. Uh, I started to think about now that I have a family and then started to think about uh, wait, what I'm going to do, I can't continue like this, right? So uh, a thought came into my mind saying that I need to be stopping this at some point of time, right? And so I started to uh, read the scriptures and Bible every day. Yes, I have been going to the church, but I have not been reading the scriptures to be frank. But at that point in time, I started, okay, let me start reading it. So I just lived that life, but I also started doing this. Right? So that's how my journey started in 2005. And then a few months down the line after I started doing this, I thought, okay, let me give God a chance and uh, see if I stop, how long the Lord takes me through without going back to uh, my drinking and anger and all this stuff. So in 2005, one day I said, okay, let me 
stop drinking and all this stuff, right? And now I'm 15 years later, I'm standing here, I'm not gone back yet. Amen. Right? So, Amen. 15 years, and by God's grace, not even a single day I had a temptation towards going there or nothing. And uh, at that point, I started to realize, I started to do a playback on uh, what, how I went through. And uh, it's totally amazing on how, because I feel like the whole thing of change happened when I started to open up and give God a chance. Right? He just doesn't come and uh, barge into our life. Right? When we open our uh, life and say, okay, God, help me out. And that's one word is what actually will allow, uh, allow in my life at least uh, where the Lord came and changed me. And uh, and now today as I stand, beautiful family, I have three kids. And what all I thought I will not be having, I have them right now by God's grace. Amen. Right? Amen. Thanks. Nice.